What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Christian Perez back at you with another video. So in today's video, I'm doing the Get Beam Challenge. Yeah, I got I got challenged. I got challenged by my boy Chris Chris Bazio. I mean, they didn't think that I wasn't gonna take the challenge, did they? They didn't think I was gonna take the challenge. Of course, I'm gonna take it. It doesn't matter what they think, because of course I'm gonna take the challenge. So in this haircut, we're doing uh, it's like a one up top ball fade, or we're doing some color enhancement on the front. Uh, we use some hair fibers, get that that edge in the front real sharp. Like, uh, the focus isn't really the haircut, because like I said, it's just a one up top with a ball fade. It's mainly the edge and color enhancement, enhancing the edge to make it pop more. Uh, if you haven't been to my channel before, this is your first time. Make Make sure you subscribe make sure you smash that like button and get active in the comments and make sure you stay tuned to the end because i'm going to challenge the two people that i have to challenge for this challenge make sure you stay tuned to the end i appreciate your time all right guys so let's get it so like i said we're doing a one up top keeping it low with a ball fade on the side you can see here he has some some light spots up top he definitely super light in the back of the crown area but we're going to take care of all that in this get Ready beam challenge beast, so for this challenge, we're going to be using our Oster Octanes with the number one guard, number one blade, using the new Andis Cordless T-Outliner. Yeah, I didn't tell you guys that in the intro. I wanted to save it. We're using our Wall Cordless Seniors with some gold blades. So we're going to start out doing the number one up top and just going against the grain, knocking all the hair down. So here we're using our Slimline Pros and we're setting our initial guideline where we're going to ball them out. He likes to get a, a high ball fade because, and either way, with this particular fade, if the customer wanted a low fade, that's part of the consultation, right? I would tell the customer it would look better high because it's not that much of a transition from that one to the zero. So keeping it high just makes it look nicer. And I didn't use the cordless T-outliners here because the cordless T-outliners, were, there were loners and they were set pretty sharp, so I didn't want to put in a line that was just unnecessary. So I used the Slimline Pros to uh, make the initial guideline here. So here we're using the Oster Octanes again. We took the number one blade off and we put the five zero blade on. And we're just starting the process of balding them out. If I saw any of you guys at Bronner, it was definitely a dope experience. The meet and greet was pretty cool. As for the show, I'll save my opinion for another time for that, but I wasn't, I wasn't too thrilled with the show. So here I'm using my cordless wall seniors, lever all the way open. And I'm going at an angle like this because I'm, I'm cutting against the hair growth pattern, right? You always wanna be cutting against the grain. Then I move it to the middle position and then closed and it's gone. That's the reason why I like using the Slimline Pros because they're not zero gapped and they won't leave a line that's impossible to get out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, as I start to blend out this crown area here, you can see that uh, that bald spot on top starts to kind of transition in kind of, you can't, it's not as obvious. I wouldn't say transition, it's just not as obvious. So here I'm using the Barber Magic Pencil. Now, with my experience with this, um, it's more of an enhancement to give you that ash line, that glow almost makes the edge pop a lot. But in using this, I also use it almost as a guideline. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but when the the edge when the hair's super light up top it's hard to kind of find the edge if, the, if, if that's if you guys understand what i'm saying as far as the, the analogy it's hard to find the edge so this magic pencil kind of helps you set the edge without pushing it back too much 
and just helping you set a foundation before you come in with it with the trimmers but you'll see that at the end I come back and I use it again just to as an enhancement to make the, the edge pop so here I'm using the cordless T outliners um, some people said they're not happy with them I'm not ecstatic I'm not disappointed these particular ones were hitters I mean they like Mike Tyson hitting so the only experience I've had with them has been these and it's been money the only downside that I found to these was the fact that they were way too loud but they definitely that wasn't an issue in the ones that I saw at the show much quieter So here I'm coming in with the airbrush machine. This is what Get Bean is known for. I'm using Kiss Express and trial and error, right? Just like hair cutting. In my experience, I, two to one ratio. So if I used, you, you pre-mix it in a separate mixing bottle and an applicator bottle, I found that the best ratio for me was two to one. So one ounce Kiss Express, two ounces of uh, alcohol. And I used the Sherry's alcohol or any aftershave will do, not just straight alcohol, something that's cut a little bit. So like an aftershave would work perfect. Um, like I said, one ounce Kiss Express, two ounces of uh, the alcohol. And it just helps it, it just helps it come out of the air compressor better. Uh, it lasts longer and it kind of helps create the ash line as well because you're, you're applying it with the alcohol. And when you're applying it, you can see I'm kind of a little bit uncomfortable here. I'm not in my element. <laughs> That's why this is the get beam challenge. Um, but once you get going, you kind of get a feel for it. And like everything, trial and error, and you get a feel for it. Also, with the Kiss Express, because it's a semi-perm and it's 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 wet, and with the alcohol, the, 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 it's just a full combination. You can see I have a little brush here, so it still moves. It doesn't apply on where it's like, if you apply it, you're done. No, you can apply it, and it still has some movement to it. You can brush it around and kind of blend it in towards the back. So here I'm using some hair fibers, and this is just kind of the finish and touch, just to fill in and, and just make his edge pop. I mean, just, just look at this edge. Look how the man started, look at him now. This has been a long time customer of mine, and not just customer, as, as my other teammate on Tomb Squad says, I'm in the business of building friendships or building relationships, not clientele. This is a very good friend of mine. And uh, when he got home, his son, his son ran into his arms and said, Daddy, you look brand new. So these are the type of things that we do behind the chair. I mean, we can really affect somebody's life or, um, you know, how they feel, how they, their outlook on things. So always remember that you have, you have quite a bit of power with those clippers in your hand. So here I'm just finishing it up. And the fibers, the cool thing about the fibers as well is that they have some movement as well. So you don't apply them and you're done. <clears throat> so here I'm using some, some hairspray. The hairspray helps lock in the fibers. Nugget right there. Make sure you guys remember that. You can't just apply the fibers because as soon as they walk outside or as soon as a little breeze come by, they're gone. So make sure you use some hairspray to lock them in. And here I'm using the magic pencil again. And this is the part that I was telling you guys that you can use it as an enhancement. I used it as a guideline and an enhancement you can use it two for one here I'm going back over with my 245 razor and this is the finishing touch when you put this razor on this boy oh boy guys I'm in, look at this. He is EA Sports, he's in the game right now. Radio 
beast, boy. You want to make sure you pull the skin tight. The usual techniques when you're when you're using the straight razor, but when you're dry shaving, you definitely want to take your time, pull the skin tight, and you'll be straight. So this was my take on the Get Beam Challenge. I hope you guys liked it. But make sure you stay till the end. I'm gonna announce who I'm challenging. And as usual, I want to thank you for taking some time out of your day to spend some time with me in these haircut tutorials. And I'll see y'all next week. All right, guys, so that was my take on the Get Beam Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. I think I saved the man's life. So just get active in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. So the time has come for me to make my two challenges. I'm gonna challenge my Toon Squad member. You guys know him. Team Gifted, stay gifted. Matt Gifted Hands, you've been challenged at the Get Beam Challenge. The second person I'm gonna challenge is, uh, is somebody I looked up to when I was coming up in this industry. Uh, the man is versatile, he can do everything. Designs, shear workers on point, fades, anything you, you, you can throw at him. So I'm looking forward to seeing his take on this, but I'm challenging Jesse Lima. Barbarin changed my life, Jesse Lima. So if you're not following those guys, you're not subscribed to their channels, make sure you go subscribe, there'll be links below, and go bother them. Go get at them, let them know that they've been challenged at the Get Beam Challenge, and let's keep this going, as usual. I appreciate your time.